Hello guys and welcome to this new video. So uh, I know it's been a while since the last one, but you know, uh, 2020 and 2021 has been pretty rough. But here I am now and with the beginning of 2022, I will try to stay more uh, consistent in making videos. So today's video is more about uh, some advanced compositional techniques. Uh, especially this technique was developed by Estonian composer Arvo Per that probably many of you knows. I will showcase this using the Rick 4 elements that just came out and orchestral tool Tallinn Baltic Choir that is one of my absolute uh, favorite libraries. Okay, so before we start, let's take a listen. Okay, so uh, that's it. Uh, this was a really, really simple piece I wrote just for showcase purposes. And it really shows the what this technique is all about. So when Arvo Part developed this technique, he really wanted to go to the essence of music, the scale and the triad. So he took some melodic lines and then harmonized using uh, only the triad chord tones. So here I wrote this uh, stepwise, really simple melodic idea, E flat, F, G flat. And how does the neighbor voice harmonize? It's really, really simple. So I picked a scale and then I picked a triad for here I picked the E flat minor triad. So the technique is really simple. You start harmonizing by uh, writing the nearest chord tone below the melody note. Then you move to the other note and you pick the nearest chord tone above the melody note and so on. So nearest chord tone below nearest chord tone above, nearest chord tone below, and so on. So you will have one voice doing this uh, stepwise motion and the other voice doing all these leaps. And and this is, this is it. This is the core of this technique and it's really, really simple, but really, really effective. For example, here I wrote a really simple uh, contrasting melody. So here we have E flat, F, G flat, and we have G flat, F, E flat. So it's really, really contrasting. Well, let's hear it together. So 
So you can do uh, the same for the lower voices, but instead of starting with a note below, you start with a note above. So for example, nearest chord on above, nearest chord on below, nearest chord on above, and so on. And this is it. When you put it all together, it really sound uh, mesmerizing, in my opinion. Okay, so if you use uh, some um, uh, compositional tools like MuseScore or Dorico Integrated, Integrated Library or some iPad app, uh, listening to this uh, with low quality sound can be a bit daunting, but uh, you really need to uh, put some effort and uh, developing it with a DAW or using a more advanced feature of Dorico's or for example I have an iPad and I wrote a full piece for String Quintet using the Staff Pad app and the Berlin first chair strings and it was really 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 cool. So yeah, uh, here I use Dorico because uh, Dorico has a great playback engine, uh, one of the best probably, even though I prefer writing music with my pencil, so I use the staff pad app and then export to XML and import in Dorico for further edi editing and playback because it's really, really, really great to this. So here I just opened uh, four instances of Sign Player. For example, here is the uh, the the, the um, soprano. And just one articulation, sustain plus legato. And then I just edited uh, one of these expression map, the uh, dynamics with modulation wheel. I um, edited this and add, also add the CC11 to have more scoop, you know, in dynamics because uh, Tallinn uses uh, CC1 for mod wheel, so dynamics, and CC11 for expression. So um, it, it was really, really simple. You just need to go to library, expression map. Oh, sorry, my Dorico is in Italian. And you can create a new one if you just want something this simple. Or you can just go to a dynamic with modulation wheel. And here you can add use secondary dynamic control change 11. So when you uh, input some dynamic markings like pianissimo, crescendo, diminuendo, uh, it will affect both CC1 and CC11. So here velocity is not considered since velocity um, in this library does not affect dynamics. I think it affects uh, legato style, but I just stick to this because it was great. And also you have to remember to uh, add some legato markings here because take a listen to uh, this single voice with the legato and without. And this is without. So if you really want that legato, you just have to select the note and tie them together. What you can do is uh, changing the articulation. So for example, I don't want uh, the same player doing the legato, but I want, since we have some great syllable articulation, I want them to do a syllable. So I remove my sustain, I go to browse, choir, female choir, and I choose uh, syllabs long. And I have to do this for uh, all the four, all the four instances. I can do this with two instances. Mm. For example, for female uh, soprano on channel one and uh, contralto on channel two, but we're going to have some uh, 
uh, modulation and expression playback issues since we have put markings on both. So now I change my playback system and I should probably get rid also of the legato markings, but let's listen and see how it works with the legato. Okay, so if you keep the legato, uh, it will keep the same syllable and we don't want that. We want to get rid of this and get rid of this. And we, we want each note to uh, play back a different syllable. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Also this way. Okay, let's hear this part. I take, I take some time to get rid of this legato. Okay, so let's listen to uh, this full choir part using the um, using syllables instead of uh, legato patches. Okay, that's it. So I don't think there's nothing else to, to say about this. Um, I really do recommend Dorico for, especially Dorico Elements 4 is really, really uh, powerful for its price. And also do really recommend Tallinn Body Voices because if you're into uh, soft choral music, that's really a, a to-go library. Um, that's it. Um, so, as I said, I try to be more consistent in making videos, so if you have any suggestion on topics uh, you want me to explain, just write it in the comments and I'll be happy to, to do it. And please, if you like the video, like and subscribe and share it with your composer's friends. And I hope to, to see you next time, so have a great one.